Listen, you cannot let Wunsch defeat you. That is not who you are. You are a person who will go out there and deliver his eight-point plan on whatever, whatever. Community engagement. Whatever. Even if the only people listening are a bunch of second graders. Because Captain Raymond Holt never gives up. Inspiring words. I'm going to give that speech. Help me with that pigeon head. Yeah. Let's blow some tiny minds. Are you supposed to be babysitting Gina? Doesn't need my help. She's over there dazzling some psychologists. All men are at least 30% attracted to me. My mother cried the day I was born because she knew she would never be better than me. At any given moment, I'm thinking about one thing. Richard Dreyfus hunkered over eating dog food. I feel like I'm the Paris of people. Complete overlap of ego and id. It's been theorized, but I never thought I'd see it. I'm exquisite. <laughs> I like you a lot, and I always have. All right. Whatever. I taught him well. Who am I kidding? Terry needs a hug! <laughs> so what, now I'm just supposed to do anything that Rosa does? I mean, what if she jumped off a cliff? If Rosa were to jump off a cliff, she would have done her due diligence regarding the height of the cliff, the depth of the water, and the angle of entry. So, yes, if you see Rosa jump off a cliff, by all means, jump off a cliff. You jump off a cliff. Gladly. Provided Rosa did first. Your husband's on the phone. He wants to know how long you're going to kiss for tonight. Would you excuse us for one moment? Your husband didn't really call. I wasn't sure what gay guys talk about on the phone. Everything okay with Diaz? Yeah, she fell asleep five minutes after I locked her in, and she hasn't moved in the past 10 hours. She talks in her sleep. I'm gonna rip your head off. I'm gonna rip your damn head off, Grandma. Oh, Terror Bear, what if she sleeps forever? We weren't able to do the procedure. Your friend is so large that you needed a bigger saw to get through his dingus. No, his body is so physically massive that we didn't have enough anesthesia on hand. He needs a much larger dose. Psst, psst. Jake, mm. sometimes I can't tell my twin baby girls apart, so I call them both boo-boo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> the question is, who here does the best impression of Captain Raymond Holt? You'll be judged on voice, body language, and overall lack of flair. Everyone will perform the same scenario. Captain Holt eating a marshmallow for the very first time. Let the Holt off begin. What is this glutinous monstrosity before me? The sugar in this is quite sweet. <laughs> That's your Holt impression? I can hear him doing that. Looks like a sticky pillow. I don't care for it. Classical music. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on here? What are you doing? Captain, hey, nothing. Just eating some marshmallows. Care for one? Marshmallow. I knew it! Allow me to explain. Amy and I were ahead of you the whole time. <laughs> no, you weren't part of this. Get back over to the loser side, loser. All right, worth a shot. So how'd you pull it off? Well, it all started when I went to tell Jake how badly he hurt my feelings and he yelled at my breasts. Oh boy, I am not gonna come off well in this story. Nope. Remember when you set off the witch? <laughs> it made Captain Holt flinch, which was weird since his door was closed but not weird since he actually heard it over a bug he planted at your desk. It was in an old muffin that you never threw in the trash. That's why people throw away garbage. How are we together? <laughs> Wait a minute. I think I just figured something out. I gotta go. Aren't you forgetting something? Uh... No! Pay your bill! Damn, who raised you? Are these laser discs? Yeah, I robbed the Tower Records back in 92. Kept my faves. Doug Judy, who? <laughs> Blade Runner, Tron. Oh, Fievel Goes West? Yes, sir. Love that little mouse. His journey, the story of America. I could not agree more. Fievel? Papa. Fievel? Papa. Fievel! Papa. Fievel! Can I say Papa. one? Hey. Because I'm not. His mom put this stupid braid in my hair. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's kind of cute. Please have my children. It's time. For what, Detective Santiago? You to give me a promotion and a 40% raise. I've been carrying the squad for two years, 
and my back's getting tired. Yeah, excuse me, Captain. Hey, Amy, can I talk to you for one second? Uh, you just did. Burn. Ah, oh, so good. So listen, I don't think overconfident Amy is working out. Maybe you should go back downstairs. Mm, maybe I should just have another drink. Get ready, America. Here comes six. Oh, okay, what? that's... Okay, I think we're ready for a practice sandwich. Sounds good, boss. Please call me chef. <laughs> that's funny. Chef. Thank you. Okay, see? The cut is a little slopey. I want you to cut it straight across. No big deal. Again. Oh. Yep. Slopey. Don't overthink it. Again. No, you're not thinking enough. Again. Still slopey. Again. Again! You know what? Why don't we try this? Why don't you just take that knife, put it to my throat, and finish the job? Huh? Do I look like Jake to you? What? Do I look like Jake to you? No, not at all. Then why are you trying to screw me? Oh, my God. Charles, what is going on with you? It's Chef. You're not ready for this. Gina, you're up. Okay, but I'm not calling you Chef, and you're not yelling at me. Mm-hmm. There you go. Ah, thank you. No slope. A nice straight cut. Thank you. I felt good because the knife... But you smushed the bread. It's too smushy. Again! Since there's a good chance that things are coming to an end, I just wanted to say thank you for everything that you've taught me. I know you may not see yourself as my mentor, but... Of course I do. I've been mentoring you all this time. What? This is day 1,282 of a nine-year mentorship I had mapped out for you. Under ordinary circumstances, I wouldn't reveal this to you until day 3,300. It was real. Kev, what's going on? Raymond has been lying to me. Three mornings this week, he told me he was fencing with Dan. Why would he do that? Why would he lie to me? I don't know. Maybe it's connected to his bad mood. My husband does not lie to me. This investigation of yours was a bad idea. I'm going home. I have to sort this out with Raymond. Goodbye, Peralta. Linetti. Linetti? No! We were on a first-name basis! <sighs> Gina, this is bad. Kevin's upset, Holt's gonna be angry, we're both gonna get fired, and I'm gonna die alone. Jake, why don't you just do the right thing and jump out a window? Captain Holt will never fire me if he knows I'm mourning the death of a close friend. Or we could try plan B and just fix it. You never even tried plan A, though.